1968, two vice lords in West Garfield Park wanted to protect their neighborhood from drug dealing and violence. Originally, the Four Corner Hustlers represented four actual corners in Chicago's West Garfield Park neighborhood. Madison and Pulaski, Independence and Madison, Pulaski and Jackson, and Independence and Madison, and all the street corners that sat in between. 17-year-old Walter Wheat, a former unknown vice lord, 15-year-old Freddie Gage, also a former unknown vice lord, Richard Left Hand Goodman, Monroe Money Banks, and several others started the Four Corner Hustlers. The Four Corner Hustlers were initially a fighting game that adhered to strict rules. No drug dealing or using, not even weed, no sticking up people or breaking into people's homes. Yet, the Four Corner Hustlers adapted a by any means necessary attitude when it came to enforcing keeping other gangs off their corners. According to the People vs. Walker, in 1972, the Presentation Community Center at 3906 Lexington in Chicago gave a Valentine's Day dance for its members in the basement. Officer Henderson Arnold was assigned to keep the peace at this dance. When the officer announced that anyone that did not possess a membership card would have to leave, Freddie Gage refused to leave and an altercation between Freddie and the police officer ensued. Another four corner hustler, Leo Walker, shot Arnold in his head and the bullet exited his right cheek. After the shot, Officer Arnold was still alive, and Gage and another individual began to strike him. Officer Arnold tried to escape when he was fired upon by his assailants and struck two more times. Gage was charged with attempted murder and sentenced to 10 years. In 1975, Wheat was sentenced to 10 years for assault and other crimes. In 1977, we engaged needed better protection while locked up, so they signed a truce with the Vice Lord Nation, which stopped all street and prison wars. Also in 1977, Money Monroe Banks was sentenced to 30 years for murder. In 1978, the number of Black Souls, another gang in West Garfield Park, started to increase. Wayne Jack Bobo Edwards, the new leader of the Black Souls, wanted to serve on Monroe and Pulaski, which was Four Corner Hustler territory. My buddy love of money is a mother. Took a lot of people away and brought a lot of people in. Money is something Wayne Edwards seems to know something about. On the west side, they call him Jack Bobo, and they see evidence of his success. Diamond bracelets, diamond rings, Dom Perignon, and long limousines. Jack Bobo, according to his indictment last month, is one of the leaders of the Black Soul Street Gang. So he offered a deal to the Four Corner Hustlers. No beef between the Four Corner Hustlers and the Black Souls in exchange for protection from the Vice Lords and the Black Gangster Disciples who came into their area. The Four Corner Hustlers and the Black Soul Alliance started the 440 Plus, thus creating the Mad Black Souls. This was also the beginning of the Four Corner Hustlers foray into drug dealing. In 1983, Freddie Gage drank Bad Moonshine the day before he was said to be released from prison which ultimately killed him. A huge funeral was held for Gage and approximately 5,000 people attended. In 1986, Monroe Money Banks was released from prison. Banks saw the drug dealing and improved upon it. When wheat was released, the Four Corner Hustlers now embodied everything that they once aboard. We left the day-to-day -day operations to Banks, but still had a voice within the organization. In 1992, Banks was killed. The organization needed a new leader. Angelo Lowe Roberts wanted to be that person. 
Lowe had already kept quiet on an alleged murder involving him and Four Corner Hustler co-founder Eugene Roney. Angelo pled the fifth so he would not have to testify against Roney, proving himself loyal to the organization. Angelo also avoided charges of trying to conceal a homicide and unlawful use of a weapon. In 1990, Angelo was also suspected of shooting a police officer in the hand. This is Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. An Area 4 police have charged 20-year-old Angelo Roberts with the attempted murder of Detective Clarence Longley. Longley was shot in the hand as he sat in the back of a police car last Saturday near the Henry Horner homes. Roberts will appear in violence court Monday. But he beat that case as well which boosted Angelo's street credibility. Under Banks' leadership, the foes, as they became more commonly known, also allegedly became more vicious killers. Wheat appointed Angelo as the new leader of the Four Corner Hustlers, and Angelo was also the father of Wheat's daughter's child. Under Angelo's leadership, the organization flourished and expanded. Angelo allowed two Puerto Rican youths to start the Spanish Four Corner Hustlers, and he also allowed all races to start joining the Four Corner Hustlers. He also grew the foes in other states. There are chapters of Four Corner Hustlers in Atlanta as well. On top of Angelo's alleged very successful drug operation in the Chicago housing projects at Rock Rail Gardens and the Henry Horner Homes until the police raided his operation. Though Wheat was not running the day-to-day -day operations, he allegedly was advising Angelo, which allegedly Angelo viewed as Wheat being on his back. People still listened to and respected Wheat. Allegedly, Angelo viewed Wheat as an obstacle in the way of everything Angelo wanted to accomplish. On July 25, 1994, 43-year-old Walter Wheat was sitting in his 1982 Oldsmobile Regency waiting for a friend to exit the store on the 3800 block of West Chicago. When 17-year-old Bobby Cooley rode up on a bike and shot Wheat once in the back and once in the back of his head. Allegedly, Angelo had Wheat killed. By September, Cooley was caught and charged in another murder. He was sentenced to life in prison. Angelo attempted to buy several high-powered weapons from a former gun dealer in exchange for money and drugs. Angelo also attempted to purchase an anti-tank rocket launcher, a M72 law, so that he could allegedly blow up the police headquarters on Harrison Street. But as it turned out, Angelo was being set up by ATF agents. But once again, Angelo outsmarted the law got suspicious, and went into hiding for the rest of 1994. On January 16, 1995, at 1 a.m. on 70th and Vernon, the body of Angelo Roberts was found lying in the back seat of his Chevrolet. Police believe the suspect thought were allegedly plotting to blow up the Chicago police station he is now the victim of a murder. He was partially frozen and his throat was slit. Allegedly, Angelo was killed by senior Four Corner Hustlers for orchestrating the murder of King Wheat. Allegedly, after Angelo's death, Ray Longstreet took control of the force as the gang's numbers has approximately reached upwards of 20,000 members.